Accepting responsibility means accepting consequences, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Now, we all know this Prime Minister loves him some luxury vacations in the Caribbean, and he doesn't mind sticking the cost to taxpayers. He constantly tells Canadians that they have to pick up the tab for his luxurious travel. And when that travel is deemed to be illegal, Mr. Speaker, he should pay Canadians back. Yeah. When will he? Right on with the Prime Minister. Canadians know that whenever, wherever the Prime Minister travels, there are operational security costs that go with it. Uh, what I can repeat, Mr. Speaker, is that when the Commissioner put forward her report, we fully assumed responsibility. I took personal responsibility and pledged to follow uh, all the advice, all the recommendations laid out by the Ethics Commissioner. That is exactly what we were doing. Going forward, we will ensure that any personal vacation or family travel uh, is uh, worked through beforehand with the Ethics Commissioner, uh, and we will continue to follow all her advice and recommendations in these and all matters. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The fact that it would take an Ethics Commissioner's report pointing out to him that it's inappropriate to take a gift from someone who conducts business with the government, that it's inappropriate to take a free flight from someone who's doing business with the government, the fact that it took him a year to disclose these facts shows what a tremendous lapse of judgment yes. he is also yeah. guilty of, Mr. Speaker. Now, our motion simply states that when members of Parliament or ministers are found to have emburdened the taxpayer with costs associated with illegal activities, they should reimburse the taxpayer. What part of that motion does he disagree with? In this place, in our system, it is the role of the opposition to ask tough questions, to challenge the, the, the uh, government in place. That's what leads to a strong democracy. However, above the partisan attacks and the personal mudslinging, uh, we have a system where an ethics commissioner objectively looks at uh, behavior and makes recommendations and delivers consequences. In this case, above the partisan role that they are importantly playing, we need to make sure we are following the Ethics Commissioner's advice. That is exactly what I am doing. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Said that the Prime Minister thinks that by breaking the fourth wall and trying to escape the tough questions that we're actually answering, uh, asking that he'll in some way be able to skate through this. But Canadians see right through that. Right. Yes, it's our job to ask the tough questions, Mr. Speaker, and it's his habit to evade those questions and ask other ministers to defend his illegal activity. So here's a simple question. When other ministers were found to have broken the rules, they had to pay the money back. Why does he think he doesn't have to? Once again, above the partisan attacks and the mudslinging, we have an ethics commissioner whose work on this side of the House we respect. The ethics commissioner uh, made uh, findings that we immediately accepted and I took responsibility for, and she made recommendations and gave advice that we are following entirely and completely. Uh, the members opposite are trying to uh, play uh, personal attacks on top of that, but Canadians can be assured that the Ethics Commissioner is the one that objectively looks at this above the partisan frame. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Demanding that a public official repay taxpayers for illegal costs is not a partisan issue. It is a fundamental principle of accountability. Anyone else in the real world, Mr. Speaker, who was found breaking the rules would have to accept consequences. Why does he think that he's different from everybody else? Yeah. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, everyone in this House uh, is uh, accountable to Canadians uh, and also has an ethics and conflict of interest commissioner uh, that uh, ensures that everything every member of this House, up to and including the Prime Minister, uh, does is aligned with the rules. When uh, that is not the case, the ethics commissioner makes findings, and in this case, uh, we fully accepted responsibility. I took personal responsibility uh, for the ethics commissioner's uh, report uh, and follow all her recommendations and all the advice she gave going forward.